alaikum everybody y'all somebody commented why are you saying good morning why are you saying hey you should say assalamu alaikum so here you are assalamu alaikum i have a lovely event going on today with space and k and yasmin and she's hosting an eighth event with space and k so proud of her mashallah i'm grateful to be a part of it as well so it's gonna be fun i'm sure there's gonna be so many lovely lovely girls that we're gonna see there let me show y'all my outfit for today this is one of the abayas that i got Please excuse the trash and the mess on the side. One of the abayas that I got in Dubai, I love it because it's, it's like an abaya, but it's a coat as well. I'm obsessed with the detailing on the side. The color is beautiful. The best part is like they had it tailored to my size right there and then in literally 20 minutes. So yeah, I am just waiting for the car right now. There's a car picking me up and then we're gonna head to the event. The makeup is makeuping. I feel like it does need a little bit of a, more of a glow, but I just don't know what to add. I don't think I should touch it anymore. Guys, on my lips, what did i put on my lips i'm wearing anastasia velvet lip but then i topped it up with the huda beauty lip gloss handbag i'm forgetting handbag this is the handbag of choice for today i was going to wear black because i'm wearing black boots with this outfit only because it's like really windy outside and i'm thinking slippers will not do so i'm so excited for this event so if yes mean by any chance if you're watching this huge congratulations to you and i'll see you guys in a bit Guys, I just got to the event. Look how pretty everything is. I have so many of the girls that I recognize around. Like everybody looks so beautiful. Say hi. hi. It's my vlog. YouTube. Yeah, I forgot my camera. No, no I, I didn't forget my camera. This is. I love my camera. I thought like I did get married. No, I forgot the memory card. Oh, I got the arsenal. Oh, I forgot the memory card. Oh, say hi. Hi. Guys, it's been time. It's so beautiful, mashallah. So annoyed I forgot my camera record at home, but I just got some stuff at super drug i just passed by and i need a solid brush cleaner and this one seems to have a brush scrub head on look at this cute summer dress i've been evading prints on dresses for so long but i think for this summer we should go back oh my goodness how flipping cute is this bag genuinely reminds me of my brown pollen bag tell me it doesn't look like very similar I picked up a few stuff to try on. I just wanted to appreciate this lip. Guys, okay, this lip has been on since this morning. I ate, I drank lots of stuff, and it's still on. We love that. First item is this blazer. It's a size extra small. I feel like the girl is no longer an extra small. Look how tight it is. I feel like I can't breathe. I mean, obviously it fits, but let's put these matching trousers on and see how it looks as a set. I actually took a size 10 in the trousers and they're so big. Like you can see all of that extra material just dangling around. It's not flattering at all. This set had potential. It would have been nice. But it's gonna be a no for me. I'm not gonna take them. I'm at Mango and oh my goodness, this dress would make such a cute slip dress for an abaya. The only issue is that they're all see-through. Like you can literally see my fingers inside. So it would kind of like beat the purpose for it being a slip dress. But it's so pretty. How cute are these denim shoes? Small kitten heels with the skirt on. Should I take them, guys? Should I take them is the question. I don't know, I don't know. I am so confused. I don't know, guys, what do we think? Are they a must-have or should I just leave them? Look at that small, cute kitten heel. That's, this is the only type of heels that I wear. It has to be like literally like one inch. Oh, they're so adorable. This is the aftermath of me getting ready. I've had such a lovely, lovely day today. I'm so happy. I always get like the worst anxiety before going for events. And I feel like over the years, it's actually gotten so much better. Like I have anxiety going for it, but a little bit more confidence now than I had like when I first started going for events. But the moment I got there, all of the girls are so nice. <laughs> I had a sneak peek of the bag. I think I took somebody else's this one is written Salma in Arabic. You can see here accidentally, but it's okay. I 
think if I'm quick enough, I can scrub the name off. I love this case. Yeah, I've been collecting these Space and K cases so well. They're perfect for traveling. Boxing of what's inside. I'm so grateful to have been invited in the first place. So in here we have a Naturium body wash. Dermalogica special cleansing gel. Charlotte Tilbury magic serum. I've been wanting to try this for so long. So happy to have this, honestly. The Sue lip masks. It's one of my favorites, so I'm glad to have a backup to when mine is finished. I've literally hit half dewy liquid blush from Rare Beauty and we also have a Hydra Grip primer from Milk Makeup as well. Stuff all available from Space and K. I passed by Superdrug after because I wanted to, I'm doing this video of like affordable makeup so I went to buy some stuff for that video. I also popped into Primark. I just wanted to get some pajamas. I don't know if it's something in the air but I am becoming obsessed with the color pink. Maybe be obsessed is a quite a strong word i'm creating a liking towards the color pink and i saw these and i was just drawn to them they're just really soft as well it's a shirt with pants matching pants in color pink i can't wait to wear these i might just wear these today i'm not even gonna wash them I'm just gonna wear them and i also got the same pajamas in like this khaki color best time of the day is taking my makeup off and i am on the verge of finishing this not on the verge, I'm finishing it today. Makeup remover. Really bugs me when there's a little bit of product left. I have quite a busy week, to be honest. Ramadan was so calm and quiet for me. I think that I only went for three events in the entire month, which were the iftar events. And then now that Ramadan is over, there's so much more events because today I have the brunch. Tomorrow is Monday, I have a event with, I have an event with Clinique. On Wednesday, I have a fragrance lunch. Thursday, I have an event with Debenhams and I'm meeting a friend for lunch. Friday, I have a lunch with TikTok. It's a busy week, which I'm happy about because busy is always good. Gotta scrub, scrub, scrub that makeup off. I just double cleansed my face. I feel so good and fresh. I do want to give my pores some TLC. I'm gonna use these. So this is like a triple pore exfoliating powder. Ooh, it's like literally like blue powder. To activate, it turns into this foaming thing. I'm gonna scrub it on your face. Doing skincare with hijab is so difficult. A little inconvenient if you ask me. Like, and now my hijab looks like it's dirty, but it's just water. A lot of the girls and I were having this conversation about the hate and bullying that is going on on TikTok recently, on especially on influencers, content creators, whatever you want to call them, Muslim ones. It's getting out of hand, in my opinion. People are becoming so mean, so rude. It's coming from people who don't even understand this industry, who don't understand people's lives and what people are going through and why people do what they do very interesting conversations. This overnight serum has given me such a beautiful glow. Also, this lip oil from Gisu is so cute. I love the tint that it gives my lips because, as you know, I have like two-toned lips, which sometimes I like and sometimes I don't. Okay, I'm gonna go in that Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. I better wake up with the most magical skin of my life. Like, do you see that glow? We love that. Forgot to show you, I'm wearing my new pajama. Pink is so pretty. I'm so glad I got this color and also the cocky ones, but this pink just gives me feminine vibes, girly vibes. Like, I feel like I want to buy a bunch of them for like me and my sisters and we can just have a pajama party at home. That'd be nice. <laughs> getting your face decoded apparently we're gonna get a face scan i need to know metal more about my skin you know Ooh. <laughs> morning y'all it is the 
next day and I have an event to go for. I'm going for this Arabian brunch thing with the girls hosted by TikTok. I'm contemplating whether to wear a dress or an abaya. Speaking of abayas, I did promise you all that I will show you what I bought in Dubai, like my abayas that I bought in Dubai. So we're gonna do it now. A girl gotta keep her promise, right? Okay. I am going to show you. I simply chose this one because of the color. It's one of those Abaya coat styles. Love the detailing. It has these beads on it. That chocolate brown is just stunning. You can see the way it shines against the sun. It looks amazing. And it did come with this pink hijab, which actually does match the beadery. Like the beadery are kind of like pinkish. It is beautiful. That's how it looks like lengthwise. Next is this one, which is also in the same like Abaya coat style. It doesn't have any buttons. I love black abayas, kind of like a wraparound style and that's how it looks full lengthwise. I really, really love this. I think you guys might have seen me try it on during the vlog in Dubai. If you guys haven't watched my Dubai vlog, go watch them. The beads are beautiful, right? I really hope that they don't come out in the washing. Oh, I could be wishing for the moon, but I might just send them to dry cleaning. Next is this abaya, which I fell in love with this for two reasons. Number one, the material. It's so soft, mashallah. And number two, it's pink. There's something about pink that is just it's sucking me in so it's a two-in-one colored abaya it's pink inside black outside and the material is just it's absolutely stunning like i wish you could feel it through the video and then it kind of also has like a slit here at the at the bottom with that pink to show so that that pink shows lastly is this one which i think you all have seen me wear in this vlog earlier in this vlog it must have been i went to the space and k event i also did try this one on in dubai and if you guys must have noticed when i wore it in dubai it was huge like i was literally swimming in it and then there's a tailor in each and every store of that place and they measure you pop up up 20 minutes and you have your abaya tailored to your fit and this just it fit me perfectly i'll also add some pictures here of how it looks because i did take some stunning pictures in it i love the color the beadery the style of this it's stunning so yeah that's mostly what i bought in dubai i did buy one more dress which i am going to gay keep for now it's a stunning showstopper dress that i shouldn't even be mentioning it because how rude and how how mean is it for me to say it and not show you right but eventually eventually you will see it it just it needs an event for itself can somebody get married if my friends are watching this can y'all get married please like i need a wedding to go for to wear what I had bought. Guys, this always happens to me. Your girl forgot her camera and I'm so annoyed because now I'm just like stuck vlogging on my phone, which I hate. Like I hate vlogging on my phone. But I am at an event. I'm having like a little brunch thing with the girls and TikTok at this really nice, beautiful like Arab restaurant. It looks really nice. Let me switch my back camera because this quality is just not it. So this setup is I'm sitting next to Aisha and we have Naima here and the girls. Everyone's around. Because look how cute this is. Oh my goodness, we have like a YSL lipstick. I have my name there. Batil, I think, is this dates or something? Hi. Guys, I'm so annoyed, I forgot my camera, oh my goodness. Servers have come, we have like a whole array of mezzes. We have hummus, some Lebanese starters. <laughs> potatoes, this is my love language, I love potatoes. such a wholesome time with the girls after that i went to harrods because i was invited by this brand called astrid and miu to get a gold permanent bracelet their options are so beautiful i did not know what to choose i'm gold to it too i'm the opposite yeah. i say i feel like silver really suits me like gold what, what, what is it? <laughs> they have so many options to choose from this one is kind of like a 
kind of like a chain similar to the one I have before. So I thought we'd go with something different like this and then add on that cute little heart pendant. It looks so adorable. This one is also really nice. I just feel like it's classic. Even if you have no jewelry on, like having this on every day would be really, really pretty. Okay, we're getting the measurements. What is it, 11? I'm thinking 11. Or maybe shorter actually. It was 14, but we add on a little bit extra. Um, so I'm gonna cut it at 15. Yeah. 15 is not going to be big. So the actual measurement of your wrist is 14. So then we do a little bit extra to allow for swelling and yeah, movement. when you're yeah movement when you're hot. Something like this one that I chose with the mm -hmm. charm. Like how much would it be? So the chain is yeah. for the, so each chain has a different price, but this one is 130, and then the the charm is a 35 add-on. Okay. And the chain that you've gone for is. One of the most popular. Well, I mean, I have it. <laughs> it's one. It is one of the most one popular of the most ones. Popular though. One. It's really, really pretty. Guys, Amazing. look how the chain shines in the light. It's so pretty. The chains like this, they can snap. Not snap. Sorry, stretch. So yeah. sometimes you come and um, can come and get it tightened. Okay. Um, so at the end, we'll take an email, and that will be your warranty. You can see what the. See what it's like. Oops, the wrong one. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna get it welded together so that it doesn't like snap off. By the time this day ended, I was exhausted. Y'all had the longest day, but alhamdulillah, so grateful for all of these opportunities. Guys, subscribe down below, and I'll see y'all in the next video next Sunday. Mm -hmm.